Hello and welcome to another video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anastasia Rose and today we're going to be talking about five ways to align to your divine feminine energy. On this channel, I'm going to cover feminine energy. I'm going to cover polarity, ascension, spiritual awakening, divine union. I'm going to cover all of these topics. So if you are interested in all of this, please subscribe to the channel. So the first way to align to your feminine energy is to slow down. So we've been in this paradigm of constantly going and constantly hustling and taking a lot of action to get to where we want to be. So I really feel, you know, right now we're going through a huge collective shift where we're really coming out of this masculine energy and we're really coming into our divine feminine power and understanding what that means and starting to lead from that place. And so feminine energy is all about you slowing down and it's less about taking a lot of action. It's really about coming back into flow and surrender. So this is really where a lot of women are starting to come into, coming into that place of less action and more flow, more surrender, less of the control and the mind. So this is really important in this shift that we're going through right now collectively and really to step into your feminine energy, you have to slow down. You have to be able to be okay with not doing a lot, not taking a lot of action. This is really key because this will allow you to come more into your feminine and lean more into that energy. And so slowing down is very essential. Sometimes on the journey, we can feel like we're being forced to slow down, like things really are a slower so that we can kind of get more familiar with how to be in our feminine, how to take less, less action, how to really be in the being energy rather than being in this place of action all the time and doing things. And oftentimes we're doing things to prove ourselves in the external world. We're doing things out of the place of fear and not really out of the place of our heart or really following our soul desires. We're really doing it from a place of fear. So we're really coming out of this old paradigm and really understanding how to be in our feminine energy. And the best way is to really start to slow down, start to go more inwards and do the internal work and inner work to really connect with your body and your heart and come more into the present moment, come into your body more. Number two is to heal your feminine wounds. And so a lot of us hold a lot of these feminine wounds that are really blocks to being in our feminine energy and really living and thriving from, thriving from that place. And so a lot of these wounds, a lot of these feminine blocks is what we are needing to heal in order to shift our energy in order to shift into our feminine power. So there's a lot of wounds that we hold as women and so a lot of these wounds are things like unworthiness, rejection, abandonment. There's a lot of feminine wounds that we are holding onto in our sacral chakra and in our emotional body. And so this is really what we're here to release. And in order to heal our feminine, we have to go through the healing process of healing all these feminine wounds and blocks that ultimately are passed down through generations. And really this is the block to being in your feminine energy of that beautiful receiving energy, that beautiful goddess flow, and really tapped into your heart. So this is uh, very important for us women to heal on that deeper level, heal our emotional body. And this will allow you to unblock the feminine energy that's ultimately within you and that's ready to come out and for you to truly embrace that and step into that. And number three is healing your inner masculine. So the inner masculine or our masculine energy within us is the container for our feminine. So we can't actually thrive from our feminine until we have actually healed also our masculine energy. So this means really working with the masculine wounds, really strengthening our foundation, our root chakra, 
and this is you know really working with strengthening your finances the structure a lot of these elements are to do with our own masculine energy so we need to build up that container build that foundation very solid very strong so that our feminine can thrive because our feminine needs a strong inner masculine to be able to thrive and so when we do this work we're really doing work on both energies it's just that our feminine energy is going first in this process and then masculine energy follows well the masculine energy is really following the feminine in the healing and so the feminine leads the masculine follows so our inner masculine is really following that feminine healing and aligning back to our own inner masculine power and then our feminine is also a realigning at as a result of that as well so it's really the two energies are realigning as you're doing this internal work of healing your feminine energy and then your masculine also is healing and so the polarity work I talk about this a lot is so essential to align to your feminine power because we need that strong inner masculine to thrive and so that's the foundation that's the container we're building for our feminine so that these energies can be balanced within yourself so that you can then tap into your feminine you can tap into your masculine which is your foundation and live from your feminine not you know living from your masculine and then tapping into your feminine it should be that you're living from your feminine energy and you have a solid foundation solid container that can hold that energy and then you can tap into that uh, masculine that strong inner masculine number four is stop chasing stop controlling stop forcing so really this is really important for us to come out of the mind and back into the body and back into alignment with our feminine energy which is the spiritual energy and really it's about you know leaning back and not doing so much of the chasing the action and the forcing that's more the masculine energy so as women we need to learn how to step back how to lean back and how to relax into our feminine energy more by letting go of the control by letting go of the mind and really coming back more into the heart and this is where we lead from where the goddess leads from and so in order to really be in your feminine we have to learn how to let go of control and control is the mind is the fear and so this is what all of us are doing more work on in order to really allow ourselves to lean into our feminine which is so important because we need to as women be safe in the feminine energy and that means you know safe means we're not controlling because the control also comes from not being safe being in the state of not feeling secure and so the ego is then wanting to control the situation or you know control the circumstances or control a relationship so it's very important for women to understand that it's okay to just let go and to allow and to really trust your higher self to lead you and you know the universe um, to lead you to trust in that higher power and the more that we do that the more we're actually working and co-creating with the universe and so we're not in this place of chasing or trying to make things happen we're actually really in this place of being in this beautiful uh, present moment and presence and so we're in this place of surrendering and in this uh, in this energy of receiving and so this is what opens up the receiving energy is when you're not controlling when you're not in this place of chasing you're actually just in a place of surrendering and you're leaning back and you're in this place of i've let go i trust number five the last one is following your heart and your intuition so in order to align to our feminine energy we really need to come back into our heart into our body and our intuition and following our heart and our higher calling and that means really the intuition really the soul and so when we align back to our soul our higher self we're then more in our power we're functioning from a place of coming from the heart coming from the intuition rather than the mind we're not going to be in this mind and anymore and leading from the mind or the ego we're more in our heart so it's very important for women to follow their heart and their intuition more tap more into the body and the feeling and the soft inner voice and so this is very very important for 
all of us to align to our feminine energy, to follow the heart, follow the inner knowing, follow that intuition more and tune out the ego that is constantly trying to come in to chat, <laughs> to make up a story, all the negative thoughts that we have. It's really about realigning back to the soul alignment and coming out of the mind and the ego, which is keeping us in the place of suffering and keeping us in the place of being in that fear and the negative thoughts. And so following the intuition, following your heart is really coming down more into connecting more with your body, connecting more with what your soul is guiding you to do, leaning back into that place. And this is really truly operating from a place of, you know, your higher self and that God consciousness, that goddess. Thank you so much for being here and listening to this video. I invite you, if you are interested in going deeper with your feminine healing work, to come and join my Goddess Codes program. The link is in the description. It is a program designed to help you align to your feminine energy with a coaching component if you choose to do that. And so this program covers everything that I, you know, learned on my journey, everything that I teach, I have put it into this program. So this is really a amazing, comprehensive program for you to go deeper with your feminine healing work. And all the links are in the description. I send you lots of love and I will connect with you in the next video.